Hey, fifth grade mathers. Okay, look. Look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> the table that you're going to see looks a lot like your other tables, but you need to pay close attention so that you see the cambios, the changes in them, and follow the instructions, okay? Okay. What we are learning how to do for this week, for today's lesson is find the least common multiple between denominators. Find the least common multiple between denominators. So, what I want you to do first for letter A is I want you to circle your denominators. Circle the four, circle the six, because that's all we care about, okay? We're finding the least common denominator, it's called. But guess what? The least common denominator is the exact same number as the least common multiple. So once you find the least common multiple, all you have to do is repeat the answer. You're like, well, then, Ms. Jessica, it's dumb that we're doing this. No, it's not dumb because it's helping you prepare for a new situation. Okay? Okay, so here we go. Give me some multiples of four. Oscar? Four, eight. 12, 16, okay. Give me some multiples of six, Ethan. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, right? Okay, what is my least common multiple then, Dueno? So you put 12 right here, now what's my least common denominator, Danielito? 12. <laughs> okay, because we just said that they're both the same. Okay? That's how they got the answer for letter A. Let's do letter B together. What are you going to do first? Circle your denominators. Emiliana, give me some multiples of 3. 3. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Cool. Give me some multiples of 5, Frankie. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. What is your least common multiple, Andres? What's your least common denominator? Danielle? 15. Good, good, good. Okay, let's do letter C. Go ahead and do it yourself, and we're going to check and see if you got the same answer as me. Look at letter C. Go ahead and do it. Okay, ready? Here we go. Give me some multiples of two. Do I know? Two, four, six, eight. Cool. Give me some multiples of eight. Abiel? Eight, 16, 24. Okay, what's your least common multiple, Andres? Eight. So, Sophia, what's your least common denominator, Chica? Eight. Good, good, good. Okay. 
I hope you got it right. You're gonna do letter D by yourself. Do letter D by yourself. Okay, let's look at number two. Look at number two. Read the instructions. Find the least common denominators. Remember, the LCD is the smallest number all the denominators can divide into without a remainder. Okay, so here you go. And now we're doing it in our head, okay? Give me my multiples of five. Just give me two of them, Danielito. Five, ten. Good, give me my multiples of ten, Frankie. Ten, twenty. So what's your least common multiple? What's the multiple that they both have in common? Emiliana? 10. Okay, guys, that one's easy. 10. 10, right? 5, 10, and 10, and 20. The least common multiple is 10. Boom. Okay, look at letter B. Four and five. Go ahead and give me some multiples of four, Oscar. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Give me some multiples of five, Frankie. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This is a biggie. Which one's your least common multiple, Danielito? 20, okay? You have to find when you hit the number that they both have in common. The first number that they both have in common, that's your least common multiple. The first number that they both have in common, that's your common multiple. Go ahead and do letter C, to C by yourself and let's see if you get it right. Do letter C by yourself and see if you get it right. Okay, this is an easy one, actually. Factor the 6, 6, 12, 18. Factor the 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. What's your least common denominator? 6. Okay. And you can do letter B by yourself. Look at number 3. Look at number 3. I'm just gonna remind you how to do this one, okay? And then we'll do letter B together. Here we go. You're finding the, write the missing numbers to make the equivalent fraction. Do your backward C, okay? Three times what equals nine? Three. So two times three equals? Six. Okay? Six. So go ahead and try letter B, and I'll tell you if you're right. Okay, the answer should be 15. Here's why. Seven times what equals 21? Can you go? Three. So five times three equals what's up here? 15. Okay, and that's how you get that answer. Okay, now, I need you to warm up your brain. Is it warm? I need you to warm up your brain because now we're gonna do number four. Number four. This one is precise, it's detailed, okay? So I'm gonna get some up on the board for you so that we can make use of our time because we're gonna do a lot of them together, okay? Here we go. Okay, here we go on number four. Now we're combining what we just learned. Look at the way the instructions say. Find the least common denominator, we've already done that, and make equivalent fractions. I'll show you how to apply that because you already know how to do them, okay? Here we go. Circle your denominators. Circle your denominators. Three, four. 
What's the least common denominator between three and four? Well, give me your multiples of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Give me your multiples of four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. What's your least common denominator? Twelve. Okay? Because see, three, six, nine, twelve. Here, four, eight, twelve, right? So you put it down here. Twelve. Okay? Now, you need to write it like this. Put your twelve right here. You're going to change this fraction to have a denominator of twelve. You're going to change this fraction to have a denominator of twelve. Okay? Ready? Let's do it. Backwards Z. How many times? Do it? Three times what equals 12? Yell it out to me. Four. One times four equals what? Four. Four times what equals 12? Three. So the one times three equals what? Three. Four twelfths and three twelfths is your answer. Okay? Here we go. Let's do another one. Circle your denominators. Ten and two. What's the least common denominator between ten and two? Think about it. Ten, you guys. Look. Ten, twenty. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So it's ten. You put your 10 right here, and then you make your fractions have a denominator of 10, okay? So let's look at it. That squared Z, well this one already is 10, so what do you do? You just keep it as one. If this is already, if this already has a denominator as 10, this is equal, you put 1, 10, just like this one has, 1, 10. This one down here though, how many times do you multiply two times to get 10? Five. One times five is five. So you have one tenth and five tenths. Okay, go ahead and try letter C by yourself. Let's see if we're understanding it. Try letter C. Okay, letter C, let's do this thing. Let's see if you're right. What's our least common denominator between three and nine? Do we know? Nine, woohoo! Good. Three, six, nine, and nine, 18. Well, that's so why it's nine. So you put denominator, denominator, backwards Z. Three times three equals nine, so one times three equals three. This is already 9, so that we just have the same numerator. It's 1. There you go, okay? You can do letter D by yourself, but I want to do letter E with you because it's longer, okay? Now we need to find the least common denominator between 2, 5, and 10. Well, here we go. Let's do it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 5, 10, 10. So it's your least common denominator. 10. So you put 10, 10, 10. Backwards Z, 2 times 5 equals 10, so 1 times 5 equals 5. 5 times 2 equals 10, so 1 times 2 equals 2. This is already 10, so we just bring this over here, it's 3. 3, 2, 5. Okay? And you can do the rest by yourself. Just follow what I gave you as the instructions, okay? Look at number five. Just to remind you on number five is reduce. When you reduce, what will you do? Don't forget. 
A is three over nine, so you're gonna do the one where you do like this. Divide like that. Number six, A, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, so you divide like this. Okay? And the rest of them you can do. I know it, I know it's a lot, but I'm happy for you, proud of you, and I believe that you can do a great job. Tomorrow you only have one page, not two. Okay, so don't worry, tomorrow you get a little bit of a break. Okay? Thanks guys, have a great day. Bye, love you.